Boys, welcome back to a new video, man. Today we're reacting to Deji, bro. KSI got robbed, you know what I'm saying? I might have to agree with him, man. You know what I'm saying? Because after one point being taken off, I don't understand how Tommy won the, the fight with one point being taken off in a sixth round fight, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's have a listen. What's up, guys? It's Deji. Um, pretty sad what happened yesterday regarding my brother's fight. First of all, I want to say what an amazing yeah. event. It was an amazing. I did get FOMO from not being on the event. I really wanted to partake in the event. It was insane. I mean, I did partake. I was on the uh, I was on the live show. A lot of people were saying the dead. Sh yeah, it should have been on the card, man, because it was a Maverick, Logan Paul. We got to see Logan Pro in his prime, bro, at 28. Your talking skills are clean. Thank you. I mean, I actually did enjoy it. I actually did, believe it or not, I actually did enjoy my time on the live show. I might do it again. Who knows? But I'd much rather be in the ring. All the fighters, shout out to all of you. I think definitely my fight of the night is hands down Slim versus Salt Pappy. Slim is... A next level beast, bro. My respect for him has gone from like here to like there. He is so far. Oh, obviously, uh, shout out to Salt Pappy. You're a warrior, bro. Absolutely. Yeah, bro. I want to see him have a rematch with uh, Anthony Taylor, bro. I reckon he can win if they put more rounds. Warrior. You got knocked down and you, just, and you got right back up. Absolute warrior. Don't don't even uh, let any of this put you down. Shout out to uh, your girlfriend too. My mum was, uh, my mum's so cute. She was looking after your uh, your girlfriend. Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis. I've lost so much respect for Dylan Dennis. I was saying that Dylan Dennis was going to win his fight. Honestly, I thought he had some secret tech from the way he was coming about all of this. I thought, even during the fight, I thought maybe the first round, you know, he's wearing him down. Second round is that cool? Then third round was the same. Then fourth round was the same. And fifth round he tried to take him down, like trying to get a guillotine. It's funny because Bryce Hall said that he's gonna he's gonna win by guillotine. Funny. Speaking of Bryce, yeah, I saw Bryce. That was that was fun. I like Bryce. Guillotine, yeah, that's some jiu-jitsu stuff in boxing. Bro. How does that go? How does that like? They should make like a, a boxing jiu-jitsu match, bro, and call it. Excuse. I want to fight him, don't get me wrong, but I, I like Bryce a lot. He's actually a really sound guy. He's he's cool. I, I watched Bryce Hall's Ben Apple fight, bro. That was good. He won a Ben Apple fight, bro. That's crazy, bro. They didn't have padding on it, bro. Ben Apple, like, boom. I, remember, when I saw him, I was like, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it on him. And then I saw him, I was like, bro, I can't. Nah, I can even destroy you, bro. No offense. <laughs> Really good guy. Um, obviously, he's won every single street fight and lost every boxing fight. But we move. Swarms or Swarms versus Ed Matthews. Insane. Uh, I, I wish Swarms or Swarms a speedy recovery. He actually messed up his leg. I thought he was just faking or whatever. Don't get me wrong. Ed Matthews did land a shot on him, but he did mess up his leg. That's why he didn't get back up. I understand it. I've had that. I've had that before. Not from getting dropped. But from like running. And it, it's, it is not a nice pain, but it is it is what it is. Um, big up Ed Matthews. But, all right, let's talk about the main thing. All right, shout out to all the fighters, but let's talk about the main thing. JJ, my brother, he got robbed, hands down. It yeah. doesn't make any sense. Mathematically, it makes no sense, okay? I, I, I've I been seeing the scorecards and everything. His punch to hit ratio was way higher than Tommy's. Tommy threw more punches, but they didn't land. JJ threw more punches that landed. And he and he had more of the heavier blows. And in the clinch... Yeah, that's true, boy. He had more power shots. Tommy wasn't learning the jab because AJ was doing the Michael Venom page hand bounce that was making it awkward. She was roughing him up. He was ruining Tommy in the clinch. Tommy's game was to obviously smother him, but JJ is very erratic. He was so erratic in the clinch, so he, he, he just really couldn't do much. But mathematically, it makes no sense because... Yeah, some people might say it was a lot of holding, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm not ever agree, of course, bro, no experience. So it's, number one. it's not gonna be like a, a, a big thing fine because these guys don't have experience, you know what I'm saying? Tommy was hitting JJ in the back of the head many, many times, and he only got deducted one point. Tommy, I like Tommy, all right, he's, he's cool. I would love to go on a night out with him. Very sound guy, but um, I, I'm sorry, I just disagree. He was hitting JJ in the, in the back of the head many, many times, many, many times. That's how you cabbage a fighter. Okay, but then let's say, you know, just that one point that got deducted. JJ definitely won a round. That point that got deducted, so then that's now a 10-8 round. JJ definitely won more than one, two, three rounds. So, mathematically, it just doesn't add up. 
to the to how it goes to Tommy's weight. Yeah, they say Tommy won four rounds and Gigi won two rounds. You know, like even if Tommy, Tommy won all the rounds or whatever, it's a draw. If you if you equate it correctly, it's a draw. It doesn't even make sense. So I don't know what the judges were smoking because they were even getting some other fights messed up too. So I'm very confused and at the at these judges. I'm to my opinion, and this is this this is what. Yeah, man, boxing's a dangerous sport. It's also a corrupt sport, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you can't live it in the judges, bro. I think, I think, I think they didn't want JJ to win because it will it will make a mockery of the sport. Letting JJ, a YouTuber, beat a, a professional boxer, Tommy Fury. That's what I believed. I, I that's what I think. They just they didn't want that. As well as it's the Fury name that was on the line. It, it would somewhat tarnish the Fury name if a YouTuber beat a professional boxer in the in the Fury family, which in my opinion is just a bit insane because. That's not fair. It just shows that boxing is there's so much corruption in the sport. It's just that's what I was saying. Of course, bro. He's disgusting, bro. Like just it seeing is. that alone has probably turned off a lot of people from boxing. Which is yeah, definitely turned me off too, bro. Sad because that's not what we try and do. We want fair equality in the sport. So why? So what's the point of doing that? JJ wasn't even like sad. He was just pissed off he was just angry he was more confused bemused like he won the fight yeah i would be too yeah but the judges he won the fight but the judges gave it to tommy you know what i'm saying because he was the hometown fighter too like he clearly won the fight tommy couldn't adjust to his style it was a very awkward style and i saw it obviously there are things that i would love jj to implement more in his in his fighting but still he won the fight that's that's him everyone's been saying it that he won the fight i've been seeing so many people saying he won the fight people from yeah. spec savers dm'd me being like bro tell me the judge's name so we can get them checked i'm not even joking like it's bad bro they need to get their eyes tested you need people judges with 2020 vision that can actually see what's going on all right no one with glasses because bro they can't they won't be able to stay seeing anything all right don't get me wrong we glasses wearers are superior but like it's insane i was so upset i was in the ring i was getting ready to get happy i was there with logan being like you he's won this it, it, it's it's there i was there with mo his, his coaches mario and alexis i was there with them being like he's won this fight it's all his he's done it and then i hear tommy fury and i was just like what I, I, was, yeah. I was ready though, just in case any fight broke out, because you know, boxing is a very temperamental sport, very high testosterone sport. So I was there ready to back it. My hands, oh, bro, they were clenched like this. When it comes to family, I'm there straight. I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm the front line, bro. Okay, like in League of Legends, I, I'm Malphite in League of Legends. I'm the front line, bro. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to say that it's actually very sad. Obviously, there are other things that happened during the event like me jake paul but i'm not gonna i don't care that's the it's the it's not about me and jake paul uh i'm saying this now jj beats jake paul 100 percent. that's what i'm saying and i, I know it for you. a fact in my opinion jj needs to appeal he should appeal and he should and uh i i, I believe you'll get the you i believe you'll get the appeal but you know what I'd much rather be in JJ's position than Tommy's because Tommy's definitely getting people saying you lost. People were telling him in this, in this close circle saying you lost, bro. You didn't win the fight, but everyone knows that JJ won. So I'd much rather be in JJ's position knowing I won the fight, people knowing I won the fight, than be in Tommy's position where you won the fight, but you didn't actually win the fight. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, um, sad times. I love Manchester, but I had to leave yeah, Manchester. Man. It's a corruption, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because they're so rich, they can just pay the judges. And guys, I really hope you did enjoy. If you did drop, please drop a like. I love you all. See you on the next video, man. And I'm out. Peace.